Hey everyone, so this is a video about how to read a textbook efficiently. So all medical textbooks are huge. This one's relatively small, the AMP compared to like our patho book. So we need to get through things relatively quickly. The most important thing is that we remember all of the large concepts. We're not gonna remember everything in this book. It's almost impossible to memorize everything. What we wanna do more is to understand the key concepts and then read some of the material which supports that, just, just helps supplement and build our, our knowledge. So there is kind of a skill to reading a textbook. The first one is going to be, um, like we talked about scheduling, knowing how much you need to read and by when. That way we can come up with a game plan, we can have a study goal, and then we can set our priorities. So let's say that this week we need to read uh, the chapter on the nervous system. So a big section here. And the way that we can break it down is by assigning, you know, a day to it or a week or whatever amount of time we have. And then from there, we can look at how big the chapter is, how many learning outcomes there are and concepts, and then determine how much time we have to allot to it. If we have all the time in the world, we're gonna read this chapter front to back. If we only have one night because we have everything else to do, then that's okay, we're gonna get through it. So the first thing to do, go to the start of the chapter, look at the learning outcomes. We talked in the last video about exposures and how we need five exposures before things are really set to memory. So instead of just trying to read page by page and then reading the chapter five times, we're gonna come up with a little bit more of an efficient way. By learning the, reading the learning outcomes, this is gonna give us an exposure or our first exposure to what we're gonna be seeing. It's kind of like opening up a roadmap and um, seeing what country we're in, you know, seeing like what the general layout of the chapter is gonna be like. From there, what I like to do is read the vocab development because I don't speak Greek or Latin. A lot of times these common words, we see them more like, yeah, I see the same prefix suffix uh, a lot of times, but I don't know what it means. This book's really good to have vocab development. From there, what we're going to do is read over the major headings in the book. By reading the major headings and looking at the pictures, we're starting to create that map in our mind of where we're going, what we're gonna see. Instead of blindly reading about some very specific uh, topics, we're going to be creating more of a general picture and we're gonna be knowing what to expect. We're gonna see the process and the flow. Also, uh, important concept for that is if we read something and we don't know what it is, instead of focusing, fixating on it, we know we're gonna to come to that concept later so we can just kind of acknowledge that and keep moving on. My suggestion, never stay put on things too long during the first few exposures. Uh, that's for when we get real detail oriented at the end. Once we've gone through all of the major headings and just kind of breeze through the diagrams, we can start getting into actually reading about the specifics. And what I like about this textbook and our patho textbook is we have a review section. So in the review section, it gives a summary outline and then each topic that we read or uh, skimmed through, we can now read on uh, a really high level overview. So all of a sudden, this is like our third exposure to it. So now, if you are able to read these three pages and grasp these concepts, you've got the majority of the material from the book. It's a lot easier to read three pages in one night than read 30 or 100, whatever the chapter size is. And by now, we have actually um, grasped the majority of the content. From here, what I like to do is maybe give it a day to digest if possible. Uh, try to summarize things in my mind, come up with some key concepts, use my learning strategy, so maybe draw it out, write it out, make a video about it, something like that, talk to a friend. And then when I come back to it, we can do one of two things. If we feel really comfortable, we can go into the review questions, which have all the answers at the back. We can test our knowledge and have good explanations on why. Or if we're really not grasping the concept and we really wanna dive deeper, now is the time to go back and actually read paragraph for paragraph. Really examine the images. So this will be about the fourth or fifth exposure you have to it. And by now, things should really be sinking in. I think it's a pretty logical way to progress through a textbook instead of just starting at the 
um, front and just reading page by page because a few minutes in you're already tired you're probably lost and you're probably confused so what good is it doing if that's the case um, if you guys have any other tips on textbook reading love to hear them uh, most textbooks are laid out like this uh, patho book I know as well so you can use the same approach and same style so hopefully that helps and will get us through these books a little quicker and a little more efficiently.